it was also Korean War at that time, and we were all going to be drafted. I had got a deferment uh, so I could complete it, and they said, well, as soon as you complete it, you're going to be drafted. And I said, well, I'll fool them. So I enlisted in the Navy. <laughs> I enlisted in the Navy, and we got married, uh, that's my senior year before I left, in April the 5th, 1953. And um, I went into the service and spent five years in the Navy active duty. And my job was to find out what had really happened and process them accordingly. And that, I opened my eyes, so I decided that I wasn't going to go into the Foreign Service, I was going to become a guidance counselor. So I went to uh, University of Massachusetts, no, University of Wisconsin, I'm sorry, in Madison, Wisconsin, got my master's degree, and after teaching and being a guidance counselor in a relatively small school in Wisconsin, I went, went back for my PhD and then got a faculty position at UMass. And I went to University of Massachusetts to basically help set up a guidance program and train school counselors. And that's what I did for 29 years, is train school uh, counselors, school psychologists, uh, mental health workers, um, and train people to all kinds of things. My particular focus was um, the use of vocations and careers. Uh, very interested in how a job can become therapeutic, in a way. And I was always amazed at, at the undergraduates that if they had a goal, we did some research on this, if you had a goal, that made a great deal of difference. And so the people who dropped out, we interviewed them and they, they lacked the goals. They hadn't set us, that it doesn't mean you, you can change your goals, uh, fine, but they didn't have any. And uh, so uh, I wrote uh, basically two books, one book uh, on using career information to help to save that and another book on what, we call, what I call multi-potential youth. Youngsters who could have quite common, have a common denominator of, could they go into any different occupation, actually? Some of them with a little additional training, some of them with what they got. And uh, the idea that you're multi-potential kind of avoids the question of whether I picked the right one. Uh, because it's not a matter of what you do before and you pick the right one, it's what you do with what you pick. And I focused on a lot of my research on outcomes. What happens because of uh, that you went to this counselor or this teacher or you did this and that, did you change? I know you feel better and you, you're delighted, but what did you do any difference? And um, we have a center now at the University of Massachusetts named after me, uh, dealing with outcome research. And I had, um, my parents were good mentors. Um, and uh, so I, th I think what inspires me also, maybe, I think one part of it is, is the church. Uh, we've been, my, my parents were both uh, very much involved in the church. And um, they made sure we kids were also. Well, I think, number one, you ought to be proud of the fact that you selected a good school. And you've got, there's a lot of potential and it's up to you to get that out of here. This, it's not, not the responsibility of the faculty members to teach you that. You've got to learn that. You have a responsibility to do that. And one of the first things you want to do is uh, decide uh, that you're going to do it, and, you, what you're going to, and then you're going to set your goals. <laughs> you expect me to say this. Uh, goals and enabling goals. And uh, then once you get started on that, you find out what you're going to do. And then at the end of every semester, you sit down and say, what did I accomplish? What am I accomplish? And I said, well, I met this professor here and I just think I'm gonna change my major. Fine, that's just fine. Then you shift your emphasis and you, this is my goal. I just, not that I'm undecided or, you don't wanna ever say that. I'm undecided, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do, even if it's just for a semester or a week, <laughs> is that you do have goals and you do something. My name is Ron Fredrickson, I graduated from Emporia State in 1953, and I'm a hornet.